This morning, new revelations are fueling outrage over the race's chance by some University of Oklahoma students. Several members of the school's Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity could face disciplinary action. A video surfaced Sunday showing members chanting a racist song containing the N-word. And then overnight, another video has surfaced. This one appears to show the fraternity's 78-year-old house mother using that same racial slur back in 2013. Jerika Duncan is at the SAE Fraternity House in Norman, Oklahoma. Jerika, good morning. Good morning. We interviewed the SAE house mother, Bhutan Gilbo, yesterday inside the frat house for a story about people who lost their jobs here. She did react to the nine-second video of students chanting those racial slurs, but this morning it appears her own words have set the Internet ablaze. <laughs> This video, which surfaced last night, appears to feature Bhutan Gilbo, the 78-year-old SAE house mother known as Mom B. In the 2013 video posted on the Vine website, Gilbo is seen rapping the lyrics to a song that includes the N-word. But on Monday, she expressed shock when talking about the SAE fraternity members who were recorded on a charter bus using the same word. I heard the words. Unbelievable. This is not, this is not SAE. Because of that video, the SAE house has been ordered closed. So after 15 years of living in the back room of the house, Gilbo says she has no job and no place to live. What do you do now? This has been my family. I can't imagine tomorrow. Not waking up here? Uh-uh. Uh -huh. I'm very disappointed, very um, ashamed, embarrassed. All those who live in the Sigma Alpha Epsilon house face a university-imposed deadline of midnight tonight to move out. The fraternity's national headquarters closed the chapter and suspended all of its members. The song was captured from at least two camera angles, but the disgust is coming from all sides. I do Hundreds of students marched on the campus of the University of Oklahoma, still reeling over what was recorded aboard that bus. Somebody should have set, stood up and said, hey, we should not say this. On Monday, the Greek letters were removed from the home's brick facade. As a fleet of moving vans assembled outside of the frat house, the university's president stood alongside OU students. I don't have words in my vocabulary to adequately describe how I feel about people who would use those words in that way and chant in that way. As for Gilbo, we reached out to her for comment, but were unable to reach her this morning. Meanwhile, the executive office of the sorority Tri Delta is now investigating its members here at OU to see if they were at all involved in that initial video that has gone viral. Jeff? Sharika, thank you very much.